Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Recently, Skylum Software updated Luminar AI to Update 5. In this video, we're going to talk about everything that's new and exciting in this, the latest version of Luminar AI. They've added one new feature. In my opinion, it's a rather minor addition. I will talk about and demo it in a moment. They've also added support for Microsoft Windows 11 and Microsoft Photos. They've added some new camera support. And they fixed the problem they had with Canon R5 RAW files. Those of you that own that camera know that when you imported those RAW files into Luminar AI, they came in with very high contrast and they lacked exposure latitude. Apparently they fixed that issue in this update. In the description below this video I'll have a list of everything that's new and or fixed in this update 5 of Luminar AI. I mentioned there's one new thing. In my opinion it's relatively minor but it is a nice feature. And let's talk about that. It has to do with sky replacement. Let's grab a photo here and open it up in the edit panel and we'll go down to the creative section to the sky AI section and open that up. And what is new, you'll notice at the top there's these three uh, like thumbnail views. It recommends a sky for the image. Apparently it examines the image and checks out the lighting and it comes up with some recommendations for the image. Now if I click on the first one, let it replace the sky and this is its first recommendation. It thinks that this sky works well with this image. We'll click on that second one and here's the second recommendation. And you'll notice there's a third thumbnail there but this really isn't a recommendation. You can see there's a shopping cart there. If you click on that it will bring you to the Skylum store and you could buy additional skies. So that's all that is. Now there are some limitations I found with this for this photo feature. Uh, first of all, it only recommends skies that are already built into Luminar AI. If you have your own skies or any third party skies, it will not recommend those. Apparently it hasn't scanned those skies or it doesn't know what those skies actually look like to be able to recommend them for your photo. For example, if I go to this drop down and go to all skies, you can see I have a lot of, I have some of my own skies, but I have a lot of third party skies. And I've talked about this in the past and I'll mention it again uh, because I get asked if I have skies. I get emails, people asking me if I sell skies or can I recommend skies. I recommend OcuDrone skies. They're the best skies, the best third party skies I've ever used. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I won't make any money if you purchase them and I'm not being paid to mention them. But in the description below this video, I have a link to their website and you could check them out. I think they're the best and I use those when I do replace the sky, I almost exclusively use the OcuDrone skies, even over my own skies that I've taken myself. Unfortunately, uh, this recommendation uh, feature will not recommend those skies. Now there are some other limitations. Let's go to a different image. For example, let's go to this image. Um, as you look at the image, you could tell that the sun was to camera left. You could see the lighthouse is lit more from the left side than the right side. So if I go over, oh, I didn't want that one. If I go over to edit and let it render, uh, and we get to the sky and we look at the recommended skies and I click on the first one, let's see what that looks like. Okay, that one looks pretty good. It looks like it's being lit from the left. Now we'll click on this one. And this one doesn't look as good. You could see that these clouds are more lit from the right. So you will have to go in and do some editing. I mean, it's going to give you a sky that matches, I guess, color-wise and maybe weather-wise, but it's not uh, going to necessarily be correct 
as far as the lighting is concerned. So you're going to have to go to sky orientation in this case and flip this sky like that. So to make it match the lighting for the scene. Let's just do one more. I've checked it with different images, uh, you know, that look different. Like for instance, uh, this image I shot is a silhouette. It's nothing special. But if I go to edit and we go to the sky, you can see the recommendations for this image are sunsets. So it does seem to find the right sky for the scene. It won't necessarily be lit from the correct direction. So be aware of that. Also, um, you know, like in this case, the sun's here. Obviously, there's going to be light on the water over here. It doesn't take care of that. Even in this case, because the water had such a high ripple on it, the reflection amount doesn't do much. A little bit. It did a little bit. Blur the water a little bit too, I guess. So that helps. So remember, you do have to come in and re-edit things a little bit uh, in many cases. Like, for instance, on this one. Let's see, reflection amount. Not much reflection on this one. So uh, it helps, maybe, uh, but you will have to come in and still adjust the sky, particularly for lighting and any reflections that you may need. Also, it's not going to grab any of your own skies, and it's not going to recommend any of those third-party skies you may have purchased. So those limitations aside... It is a nice feature, uh, but in my opinion, it's kind of a minor feature. Again, in the description below this video, I'll have uh, a list of everything that's new, including the few new cameras they added uh, for this update or in this update. Also, as I mentioned, I have a link to OcuDrone's uh, website. You can check out their skies. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>